today we are reviewing BB number one. <sighs> okay, I don't even know where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start probably with like music. Music, it was nice. I enjoyed the music. I heard, I already heard two of the songs before on my YouTube channel. So, music, music was nice. I like the music. Um, characters. I like Salman Khan. I really like Salman Khan. <laughs> but I hated this man in this movie, bro. Oh, I hated this man in this movie. He drove me insane, bro. Yo, you are a married man. No one says marriage is easy. No one says it. No one says marriage is easy. My man was complaining about he ain't getting some, blah, 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 the attention's all on the kids, da, 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 da. Again, marriage is not easy. You're both going to have to make sacrifices. You think your wife just wants to look after the kids and not give her man attention or even get attention from her man? Like, brother, you're being selfish at this point. But that's, that's the vibe he gave me for the whole movie, though. He gave me them selfish vibes. It's all about me and me alone. That's what he gave me the whole time. Why is he married even? But anyways, let me calm down. Let me calm down to go back. Um... So yeah, this man was married, had two kids. His mum was living with them, which was nice, you know. Um, but ugh, stress, man. Oh, he works for a company which the wife had majority of the shares. So this whole time, this brother, this brother was moving crazy, moving like he's the man, the don, chest up, shoulders back, everything. Huh? He was walking like he was him. And I find out this brother only owns 49%. Wife got 51. Brother, shut. You better pipe down. What? Moving crazy. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. So, he ends up getting a side chicken that in there once. Um, no respect. No respect for his wife. Bro. No respect for himself. No respect for his kids. No respect for the mumsy. Not even the dog. And I don't really care about the dog, but you had no respect for the dog as well. And I was like, you just straight violated everybody in that household because of Sumita Sen. I, I get the temptation. <laughs> I get it. She long, she fine, she all that. I get it. But brother, lower your gaze. And I was like, if you're going to look, look one time. Don't blink. The moment you blink, it becomes haram. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm giving you tips. I'm giving you tips. If you're gonna look, give it that long stare. You know what I'm saying? But once the eyes start watering and you blink, after that, all that looking is haram. <laughs> you can look once and once only. <laughs> this brother kept on looking and looking some more. He started analyzing. Bruv. Oh my god. Human anatomy, but he was analyzing everything. The triceps, the biceps. The the, the, the traps. He was analyzing the whole body. He, oh la 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 la. Ah, a whole situation and then he became an expert at lying this man was just chatting shit the whole time just lying to everybody ah, nah bruh. so angry with this character bruv oh. <sighs> but Sumita said she had do I blame her? To an extent. I blame her when she realized that he was married. Everything she did after that, you're at fault. Before that, I can't really blame her, right? The man's lying to you. He's lying to his wife. What can she really do? She's like, this man's just treating me right. Putting me in this big ass house. You know what I'm saying? This is the man of my dreams. I can't really blame the woman. But the moment you clock on, the man has a wife and then two kids on top of that, you got to bounce. You got a bounce. None of that. Oh, he chose me. At what? He married. He's got two kids. Why? Why is it like a competition out here for females? The moment they see a man's married, it's like, ooh, challenge. The f challenge. The man's married. Leave him. Leave him alone. Why is it all of a sudden a test? Let me see if I can work my way in there. Ruin a nice household. Like what? Leave. <laughs> Get out of it. So after that, when she found out, that's when I was like, okay, I don't like you no more. You know, you were fine up until this point. You just, ru you've ruined, you're ruining the home. You know what I'm saying he's done damage. Cool. But the moment you realize man has wife, not even kids, man has wife. 
leave, bruv. Back up. You know? Um, and then obviously the wife, I don't, the part that pissed me off the most about this movie, yo, the part that pissed me off the most about this movie. I'm one of those ones. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't apologize very quickly. It takes a lot for me to say sorry. I have to do something very bad for me to apologize. If I don't think it's worth me apologizing, I ain't apologizing. This brother here, yeah, this brother, this brother goes out, does his deed, travels, vacation, everything nice, everything. Comes back, gets caught red-handed, and then makes the wife apologize. Yo, I lost my shit. I lost my shit. I could not believe the way he manipulated her. This is what you call that. What, what's the what's the word that people were saying? You know, a toxic relationship. Something like this. When you're apologizing for not, for doing nothing wrong. When, what? The person doing all the dirty deeds is playing victim? You're in a toxic relationship. What? But how, how, I, how he did it was even like, I was like, wait, 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 wait. How are you making her apologize? She fully said, I'm, I'm sorry. I was like, huh? What? Bruv, she, I don't understand, but she apologized. Chat. She said, I'm sorry. This man went on vacation with another woman. <laughs> Did did his deed and come back home, got caught red-handed. Video evidence. We had video evidence. Video. And yet the wife apologized. After that, I was like, I've lost hope. I've lost hope. I've lost hope. And part of it, the reason why I liked the movie, but I didn't like it, I liked it because it is realistic. As, as much as some people want to argue up in here today, or some of you watching this video, you know, some of you ladies want to argue, this is a real thing. A lot of women, let me keep it a hundred, let me keep it a hundred. A lot of women stay in marriages, especially when they have kids, for the kids. It's not even a partner no more. They try to keep, the, I've, I've been a witness to this, I've seen this. They stay in the marriage because of the kids. Is not even the man. Listen to me. It's not a joke thing. They will do anything and everything. Even if it's to a point where they're losing themselves. It's, it's literally morally against what they live for. But they look at the kids and they're like, yo, this, my kids need the father. Needs the dad. And they're willing to stay in that shit, bro. It breaks my heart. That shit, that shit hurts me, man. That shit hurts me. I, ugh. Someone said marriage scares me. Ah, I, Bav, you have to do it. <laughs> marriage scary? Everything in life is scary. Let's keep it a hundred. Marriage, there's more things that are scary than marriage. I ain't gonna lie. There's more things that are scarier than marriage, you know? You walk out of your house, you, you get into a taxi. And for me, that's scarier than marriage because I'm trusting a human being I don't know to take me to a location. If that person's having a bad day, they can take us both out. Life is scary. Let's keep it a hundred. You know? Um, you, sometimes you just got to take that chance. Not everyone's like this man in the movie. There are good men out there. As much as some people want to say, oh, all men are like this. No. There's some good men out there that will respect their wife. Um, that their pride won't even let them cheat. Their, 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 their pride, the name they've made for themselves, how they, the, the standard they hold themselves, they will not be able to cheat on a woman. Because one... You don't want it, you, like, I wouldn't, I'm one of those ones, I'm not going to do something to someone that I don't want done to me. That's just the way I live my life. If if I'm not going to do it to you, don't run it back. And I'm one of those people, if you do it to me, you pick a yay, you're gone. I don't care if you're blood on blood. I don't care who you are, what you're, we got the same last name. You mess around and F up, you're done out here. That's why I literally like, yes, I'm a nice guy and everything, but cross my limit, my line. I've got my boundaries. You cross that boundary, one step, one step, just one, not two, but just one, cut a, cut a step, <laughs> cross it, just a cut a step, you're finished, I'm done with you, finished, and it's gonna take forever to even try and get me back on uh, the, the terms that we were on, nah bruh, you cross my, I have my principles, you went over it, we're done, finish. If I gotta go through some suffering, some things that I'm feeling, you know what I mean? Gotta go through it, I'ma go through that. But I know going back would have been way worse for me. 
going back would have been way worse. Let me go forward, go through all that darkness, all these emotions that I'm feeling, and I will make it to the other side, regardless. But I'm not staying, bruh. She should have, bruh, she had the house, she had the mumsy, the kids, dog, the business. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, I'm sure you will find another good man. If not, you don't hold it down. You don't need this gut of a man. The fact that she stayed with him at the end as well, piss me off, bruh. Piss me off, but why is she staying? But like I said, I get it. I get the reality of you got two kids. <sighs> I don't know, man. I know I know in life everybody makes mistakes. Let's keep it up on it. Everyone in life makes mistakes. It's facts. But there's some mistakes you just can't make. Do you know what I'm saying? And if you make it, do what you gotta do, you gotta leave. You know what I'm saying? We all make mistakes. We're human. We're human. We're human. Like, I'm not even trying to sugarcoat this shit. We're humans. We all fuck up. Every single body. Everybody fucks up. Anyone that says, nah, I've never done... You, you fuck up. All of us. We all make mistakes. However, sometimes, again, sometimes people don't know who they are without their spouse. It's true. They've been all consumed in them. They've given them their lives. Especially if they've been married from like a very young age. Like I'm talking, you just got into your teens... You know what I mean? You're not really in the adult realm yet. Your whole life has been surrounded by this one individual. That as well. All of a sudden now. Just saying, all of a sudden now. Boom. Musa, uh, can you please let me know? If you didn't know the roles of each woman in the movie just from appearance between Shumitison. Who am I rolling? If I didn't okay, who am I rolling with? If I didn't know their roles? Ooh. What do you mean if I didn't know their roles? Just from appearance? Hey, just for my parents, Sumita Sen's taking number one. Um, whoo. They all look good, bruv. They all look good. <laughs> they all look good. Sumita Sen. Ooh. Karishma and then Taboo, maybe? Or Taboo and the other way? I don't know. From the appearance of the movie. Yeah, outfits. They all slayed, though. I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. Hang on, like, that's a hard question to answer. That's a... <clears throat> I think Salman Khan loved Karishma, but the eyes were too long. Exactly. That's why in Islam, my religion, they say lower your gaze. As a man, lower your gaze. Because the, one, the moment you, you know what I'm saying? Of course, there's beautiful women all around us all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? We're not blind. It's the same for females. There's wonderful men out there. You're not blind, but you have chosen this person as your partner, as your ride or die, till death do us part. Lower your gaze. Yes, you're going to see attractive people. Look, that's a very attractive person. Keep it moving. Don't stop. Analyze. Approach. Conversate. Because now you're instigating something that you're not supposed to be in. Do you know what I'm saying? It also says you can have four, yeah, but it's obviously, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. Some people say, oh, it says you can have four. Yeah, but you got to treat them all equally. Did, did he look like he was treating both of them equally? He could have married her. Yeah, he could have married her. But was he treating them equally? Answer my question. <laughs> it's, it's there. Yeah, you could have four. But you got to treat them equally. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. He wasn't treating them equally, man. All of a sudden, he was just locked in on the other target. It is what it is. What did I think of Anil Kapoor's character? He was fun. I guess he was just trying to mend everything. He was trying to keep... Of course, you don't want any marriage to go this way. And I feel like because he knows both of them very well... He knows what, like, he's seen the good times, right? He's seen a lot of the good times. Um, he's a man himself. 
So obviously, and he's married with a kid. So he was obviously trying to tell Salman Khan, like, yo, you got to come correct, brother. Like, what you're doing is wrong, which is the kind of people you need in your life. You need people like that to hold you accountable. You don't want friends to be like, oh, yeah, if you want to go play around, you can do that. I'm going to stay quiet. Da, da, da. I'm not going to get involved. Da, da, da. Do your thing, blah, blah, blah. Nah, he told him, yo, cut the bullshit. Go back to your wife. What are you doing? What, what, what one? So Anil Kapoor's was very important. You do need people like that around you to give you that advice that, yo, you're messing up. You know what I mean? It's better for you to stop this shit now. Go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go home. <laughs> yeah, friends that cover up for you are not good friends, man. Friends that cover up for you are not good friends. You know, the best thing you can do for your friends is advise them and tell them, yo, come correct. You know what I'm saying? You have, you have way too much to lose. Way too much to lose. When you're married, yeah, you have way too much to lose. Thank you so much for the sub. 49 subs. We're almost halfway to 100. Jeez. Let's go, LLC. Love that. You know? Yeah, <laughs> he had me laughing when he wanted to slap her. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ah, oh, la la. It, it was a fun movie, though. I'm not going to lie. I get why people don't like it because I didn't like it. But it's also very realistic. It happens every day. Do you know what I mean? Um, it, he took, I think he took his house for granted a bit. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and also communication. He was like, oh, I'm not really getting nothing up. Dang. We got 50. We halfway. Thank you for the gifted razor blade. Pretty. You know, I think he took his house for a bit for granted. Um, he didn't really communicate with his wife. Like, yeah, okay, we've got kids and whatnot, but we still need to have some quality time and da 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 So, again, I do, I do blame Karishma to an extent, but most of the blame is on him. Let's keep it 100. Most of, most of the blame is on him. She shouldn't have started taking care of herself again once she realized oh shit i'm losing him do you know what i'm saying losing the like i think if you're if you've met each other and you were both correct you were taking care of your bodies taking care of your minds you're working on your businesses everything was you, you guys were just on top of everything a lot of people when they get in a relationship they get comfortable comfortable let's keep it a hundred we all everybody's been guilty of this you get into a relationship you're like okay i've got them now like look let me relax a little bit, put my legs up, you know, you start just a little bit, oh, this week, don't really feel like, you know, working out, you know, I've got my girl, you know, like what, you know what I'm saying, arms start going a little bit, you know, <laughs> next thing you know, you look in the mirror, you don't even recognise yourself, you're like, woo, next thing you know, your partner's not attracted to you no more, woo, it, yeah, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself, do you know what I'm saying, so, I blame her to an extent, just a little bit, just a little bit that she wasn't really holding it, down to the extent maybe that's what he's used to she's he's used to seeing her a certain way um you know what i mean you, you gotta tease your man a little something something you know he's gotta come home you know aroma you know what i'm saying he's like oh why am i smelling roses you know what i'm saying coming to the bedroom <laughs> candles lit and shit you you laying there looking out <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> he ain't gonna look outside he, he ain't looking outside nowhere. Yeah, hey, if he's coming home to all that, <laughs> where's he looking? <laughs> so that's that's the only blame I would give her. Um, but outside of that, he made all the mistakes in it. That's it. Just don't let yourself go exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Keep it a hundred. Keep it light. Have fun. You know what I mean? Make each other laugh. You know what I'm saying? Have a make make a lot of loving. You know, you gotta have a lot of loving. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you have, you know, ma marriage is not easy, but marriage is easy. I hope that makes sense for some people. Marriage is not easy, but marriage is easy. Does that does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> I, I hope that makes sense. Thank you for the follow. Like, does that make sense? Marriage is not easy, but you can make it easy. Nothing worth having is easy, full stop. But I'm saying, oh shit, anonymous gifter? I think that's the first anonymous gift I've ever had on this channel, bruh. Yo, that's the first anonymous gift I've ever had on stream. Thank you so much for the gift. Much appreciated. Wow. Thank you so much for gifting Jesse. 
Welcome, Jesse. Jesse's got a sub badge, the blue one in there. Nice. Um, but yeah, let's wrap up the movie review. Um, overall, don't cheat on your partner. It will ruin the household. Um, your lies will come to light and it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth losing what you have. You know what I'm saying? For that little bit of pleasure. It's not worth it. Lower your gaze. If you're going to look, look once. Don't blink now, because if you blink, after that it's haram. Don't do it. <laughs> Stay safe, people. Um, and then I'll catch you lot in the next one. Love life, love life, love life. Peace.